Hi, I'm Nate Moore. This is lecture 16 on using pivot tables. And today, to show you one I wanted to demonstrate, it's easier to use a different set of data. So we're going to jump back to some data I used at the MGMA presentation in Denver. And you'll see that what you can do in a pivot table, if we come over here and look, you can actually have multiple fields in the values area. So I've got the build charge for a variety of insurance carriers the total of the amount we've had to write off for those carriers and the total amount we've allowed for those carriers. And I've just added those, dragged those fields into the values area. So I've got three totals here. And what I want to show you is, we hide this so you have a little more space. I want to show you how to add a calculated field or a formula inside a pivot table. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to formulas right here and do calculated field. And it wants a name, so we're going to call this percent collector. Let's do that. And it says, well, what's the formula? I'm going to get rid of that zero, and it, I'm going to say, well, it's the amount that we've allowed. And you can either do insert field like that, divided by, or you can double click to get the build amount in there. And we do allow divided by build, and we'll do, we can add and do multiple ones, or we'll just click OK. Now what I have is this field called sum of percent collected. And what I want to do is go to value field settings. And I want to do the number format. And let's do a percentage of the decimal. Click OK. And let's just leave that title there for a minute. And I'll show you what we have. So now what I have is a field that is calculated based on these other two fields. If you look in this formula bar right here, you can see that it's just storing the number, but the clever thing is if I, let's say I come over here and I sort these differently, the formulas stay with the data. And if I decide I want to take Medicare out, the formulas continue to stay with the data. I'm going to undo that. And then because this is a field now, what I can do is I can say there's my best percentage in 2007. Cigna paid me the highest percentage of bill charge in 2008. Blue Cross did, and in 2009 they did as well. You can tell that at least we put some thought into this data because Medicare is the lowest amount in all three of the given years. So that's the way in formulas and calculated field to add a variety of formulas to your pivot table. And if you don't like the formula that you have, you can either modify and change the calculation or you can delete it right there. When you need a for we talked about how to put formulas outside of the pivot table. We've used get pivot data and we've equals B12 divided by F12 and things like that. When you want a formula inside a calculated field in a pivot table, this is the way to do it. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.